I think there are a couple things that kind of spawned this interest. One, that this initiative was put out by the provost and, and we thought, why not? Uh, you know, thinking about doing something different. Secondly, one of the goals for the Division of Student Affairs was to create a learning opportunity, a class for students, undergraduates, about the whole idea of careers and why student affairs, because we have a number of people, students from Hamlin that historically have gone on to work in higher ed or gone to uh, graduate programs in higher ed or gotten jobs right out of it. So we thought this might enhance people's opportunities about getting accepted to grad schools or becoming more familiar with our field. And part of our professional responsibility is to honestly find students to, to join us in our field. And so we thought that this class would help us do those things. really wanted to give students a window into what the field of student affairs is. It's a really broad term, it's a really ambiguous term, a lot of people don't know. Um, and then additionally to give people who are interested in the field the skills to excel in a graduate program. I think there are two things. One was that experiential piece where we were really doing the activities that a student might do if they were involved in an extracurricular and bringing that into the academic world, um, building personal foundations and leadership skills, but then also that field trip part. So we took the Green Line to the U of M. We rented Hamlin Bands and drove people to St. Olaf and we carpooled to Century College and we got to see these other campuses and kind of say, this is what their rec facility looks like. How does that compare to ours? And why are they different? And what are the pros and cons of each? I, I think there are two things. I think one, the idea that um, non-academics like us as staff have a place uh, in the in room for teaching and learning for students, especially in the experiential uh, realm that we did and trying to provide provide something new and different for students and that we were recognized and allowed to be part of that was significant for those of us in the Student Affairs Division. I, I think the other thing is the concept that how much we learned about our students. We had a mix of seniors through first years, mostly we had almost half first years about how much they didn't know, how much that we you know thought they had just gone through orientation, we thought they you know for, they had been here for at least a semester. Their ideas or understandings of their support mechanisms and where they could go for help and how to help each other were not existent. And it just surprised us that, and where everybody was, that this was such an outcome. I mean, there was a senior who, one of the things we did in our first day is we went and visited these various types of offices on campus and met and talked to the people who work there. And a senior, you know, I said to a senior in the class, so I suppose that you've been to all these offices, and he goes, actually I've never been to any of them except for the library and and he said I wish this would have been something I would have done when I was a first or a second year.